The plane's mysterious disappearance had become legend over the years. On a distant, icy expedition, Dr. Landon's team unexpectedly found the frozen aircraft, capturing every detail with their cameras. They were filled with excitement, but a sudden sight inside the plane shifted the mood dramatically. Something or someone was moving inside the plane, but what could be in there? Before we start, smash the like button and make sure to subscribe if you haven't and hit that notification bell so that you won't miss any new stories. At that time, he had no idea how much danger Dr. Landon was putting his crew in. As part of the crew explored, the other part of the group noticed something truly unsettling. They knew they had to warn Dr. Landon and their other colleagues. However, it seemed that it was too late, as Dr. Landon and his crew ventured deeper into the ice, finding out how the aircraft could have been lodged into place. They couldn't believe what they saw. What did the group come face to face with? What had unsettled the onlookers? And most importantly, would Dr. Landon and his crew be able to get out unscathed? Dr. Landon and his crew had been planning this expedition for months, and now they finally got the green light. Dr. Landon and his crew took a few more photographs of the airplane in the ice, how it seemed to be stuck there, and its sheer size next to the large remaining chunk of ice. However, as they discussed various hypotheses, they had no clue that one of their pictures had captured something that would soon turn their excitement into dread. For now, the crew only knew they had to get closer to the plane. They restarted the engine of the boat, checking if it's safe. Luckily, after gathering and calculating their findings, they quickly came to a unanimous decision that the ice would be safe to venture into. Dr. Landon's crew member had started to review the photos for their expedition and found something rather staggering in one of them. As Dr. Landon looked at the photo, he couldn't believe what he saw. It looked as if something was standing inside the aircraft. As they all mulled over what it could be, Dr. Landon ruled that it must have been a trick of the light. After all their calculated data, they split the group in half. One part of the group would stay on the boat, calculating and monitoring the iceberg, ensuring the other half of the crew wasn't in any mortal danger. The boat landed on the snowy landscape where one of the institution's buildings was. He had to remain level-headed, but for some reason, something just kept gnawing at him. They were nearing the coordinates of the plane, and they could see the watery depths again for the first time in what seemed like a long time. He could have sworn he had seen something in the distance. His colleagues all stopped on his command, but when they asked him what was wrong, he couldn't pinpoint or explain what he had seen. Doubts suddenly started to surface amongst his colleagues. He gave the green light again for him and his crew to descend down the iceberg in protective gear and check out the crash. The cold Arctic wind bit at Dr. Landon's team as they descended the glacier around them, an endless expanse of white broken only by the distant crashed plane. Closer to the plane, the damage was evident. The hull was brutally torn open with debris scattered. Joseph, the aircraft expert, noted this wasn't a simple crash. Amidst the wreckage, peculiar gashes stood out, seeming out of place. Surrounding the plane were mysterious tracks. Emily, the tracker, pointed out, These tracks are fresh, but who or what made them? Landon inspected closer, sure of a deeper meaning behind them. After the day's unsettling findings, Dr. Landon's crew approached the damaged entrance of the plane. Hinges frozen in place required tools to break through. Joseph held up a diary, its pages stiff with cold. They're all storytellers in their own right. These artifacts spoke volumes, wordless testimonies of lives in mid-flight, abruptly halted. Evening settled around them, and as the crew ventured further into the wreckage, the biting cold wasn't the only thing sending shivers down their spines. Dividing into pairs, the team began a meticulous sweep, hunting for the source of the unsettling whispers. Emily and Joseph moved towards the rear of the plane, while Dr. Landon and Alice veered towards the cockpit. It's coming from here, Joseph whispered, pointing towards a concealed compartment beneath a collapsed row of seats. With resolute determination, Dr. Landon led the crew through the claustrophobic corridors of the plane. Every step echoed with history and anticipation built with each twist and turn. Pushing the cockpit door open, they were met with a scene that took their breath away. Controls and instruments were eerily locked in place, preserved in their final moments. This could have the answers, Dr. Landon murmured, holding the black box delicately. 
aware of the gravity of the find. As the crew stepped back onto their boat, relief was replaced by a sudden trepidation. The usually reliable equipment blinked erratically and monitors displayed scrambled data. During a routine scan of their surroundings, a crew member gasped, pointing towards the crashed plane. He murmured, There, a white figure. Others rushed to see, but the figure seemed to vanish, leaving them questioning their own eyes. The morning sun shone coldly on the plane's wreckage, revealing subtle anomalies around its periphery. Dr. Landon knelt, brushing away freshly fallen snow, unveiling imprints and scuff marks. These weren't the aftermath of the crash. They were newer, less eroded by the elements. Someone or something has been here recently, he murmured, setting a ripple of unease through the team. Beyond the immediate vicinity, a curious set of tracks drew attention. They meandered, sometimes fading under snowdrifts, only to reappear a short distance away. Their shape suggested human origin, but their pattern lacked purpose. Were they traces of lost explorers or remnants of something even more inexplicable? Could this formation hold more secrets, possibly even remnants of life? Its gaping entrance, contrasting against the white expanse, seemed inviting. Yet, for Dr. Landon, they needed to explore that cave. He announced, his voice tinged with a blend of anticipation and caution. The group assembled at the cave's entrance, their breaths fogging up in the biting cold. Armed with headlamps and lanterns, they began their descent deeper into the cave. The team stumbled upon a concealed alcove within. Artifacts hinted at a long stay, a tattered journal, blankets, and more signs of sustenance. The cave seemed to guard its secrets jealously. The cavern's pathway spiraled downwards, taking the crew deeper into the heart of the icy abyss. Ambient light from their lamps danced on the walls, creating moving shadows that seemed almost lifelike. Every so often, a fleeting movement would catch someone's peripheral vision, only to vanish when focused upon. It became clear the cave wasn't uninhabited. Pausing frequently, they tried to discern direction and meaning, hoping it might be another human voice. Each echo amplified their anticipation, drawing them further in, feeling the increasing weight of the cave's mystery and sensing potential dangers. Dr. Landon took the initiative to radio the boat. We've made unsettling discoveries deep within the cave. We may not be alone. Requesting immediate backup, he reported, his voice edging with concern and determination. The gravity of the situation intensified as the crew recognized they were intruding upon a mother's sanctuary. Amid the palpable fear, there was an undeniable sense of wonder. The sight of the regal polar bear and her cubs in such a raw, unfiltered setting was breathtaking. The crew's eyes remained fixed on the majestic creature, ensuring they maintained a safe distance while showing no signs of aggression. Emerging from the cave's entrance, the team took a moment to collectively exhale, the weight of the encounter settling in. Back on the boat, the team gathered around a makeshift table, laying out all the collected data, photographs, and artifacts. Sifting through their photographic evidence, a recurring anomaly caught their eye. Zooming into several images, the faint white silhouette of the bear became increasingly evident. With bated breath, the crew played back the cockpit's black box. The audio painted a harrowing tale of the plane's tragic descent. Turbulence, technical failures, and desperate calls for help echoed, immortalizing the crew's valiant efforts to salvage the situation. It was a somber moment, grounding everyone in the reality of the events that transpired so many years ago. Their arctic sojourn had unveiled a tapestry of life and history, from the majestic polar bear and her cubs to the traces of human activity in the plain and cave. It was evident that the Arctic was not just a desolate expanse. The journey had been transformative, unveiling the mysteries of the Arctic while emphasizing the delicate balance between man and nature. With heavy hearts and enlightened minds, they bid farewell to the Isian Kanon, forever changed by their discoveries.